Welcome to Creative Tian channel. Today we have a machine knitting project. I'm going to design two punch cards of animal prints and knit it on my standard gauge brother machine, the brother KHAA1. And you can use the same punch card on a bulky machine such as brother 260. The process is very similar with a slight difference when pushing the buttons. I will have a free download for those two charts I created. You can find the link in the description box below. And this is the standard chart size for brother machine. It also works with singer machine. So I start with some reference image. I search online and find some images, but it's very difficult to find exactly what I'm looking for and some have different format, different size. So I decided just to make it myself. And you will need a blank punch card and a punching machine. Mine's called a handy punch. You can find those easily on eBay and they are not very expensive. So I just place a piece of tracing paper on top of the blank page and start my sketch with pencil. And I refine it more by marking each box. And for the fair aisle design, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing you really need to know is how to continue the pattern. And one easy way is to fold it like that. When you connect the first row to the last row, it should be continuous pattern. And the same way you can check the left side and the right side. So when you roll it up this way, the pattern should be continuous. Then we will know it will be continuous pattern. After I finalize the design, I just mark it darker so I can place it behind the blank page and just tape it with a washi tape or regular tape. And when you hold it to the light, you can see which box is the one need to be punched. And I just mark it with a color pencil. And then I just punch out all the holes one by one with my handy punch. I'm working on Brother AA1 standard gauge machine. And first we turn the dial to place the punch card into the slot and place the connector to connect the beginning and the ending rows so it's continuous pattern. And we can always set this to the red dot first. That just means it's a standby or pause and it's not advancing any patterns. And first we have to thread the yarns. I place the main one on the right and the secondary one on the left. And my main one is the background, the secondary one is the pattern. And we just thread it as usual, one on the right, one on the left. And then I just have to decide how many stitches I want. I want it to be about three repeats of my 24 stitch punch card. So I have it from right 36 to left 36. And I'm just going to use a simple e rub and knit a few rows of the plain knitting. So I hang some weight and knit a few plain rows and park my carriage on the left side. And for the punch card, we make sure it goes to the row one here. Here is the one. You can see a line there. The browser machine and the singer will be a little bit different. But for the browser machine and browser punch card, we start from row one. And for the setting here, we start with red dot. So it's not advancing. And for the carriage, we set it to KC. So it will engage the belt and the punch card. Now we are ready to move the carriage to the right. You can see the needles are selected and you can see the three repeats because that's how I set it up. And now it's a time to thread the second yarn, the second color one so we can take it off the mast and place it into the B slot here. The A is the major one, we can close it. When you close it, you can place the second yarn to the B 
and we can put a clip below or you can hold it down by hand for the first row. And then we can push the MC button in here. I believe it's for multicolor, the MC. And then we have to look at the setting here for the punch card. We place it to the center, the regular triangle, not the elongated one. And now we just need to knit back and forth until the length you like. Now you can see the second color here and it creates some floats. When you are designing the pattern, you should consider the length of the floats too. For some project, it doesn't matter, but for some other project, it's more important to make the floats shorter. I'm going to increase the tension a little bit. I find the tension 7 is a little tight, so I'm going to change to tension 8. After you need the length you like, you can just take off the second color on the left side. You can just cut it out and hold the yarn end or clip it to the main piece and knit a few rows of the plain knitting. To change to normal knitting, you can switch the KC from here to the NL. And for the punch card, you can set it back to the red circle. Now we just need a few rows of plain knitting and then bind off or just put it on waist yarn and take it off the machine. That's the final one and this is the back side. Some of them have longer flows. If you want to make sure the float is shorter, you can add more dots in the middle. And I also need a sample with a zebra print and this is what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to download your free pattern. You can use this for machine knitting or just hand knitting. Thank you for watching and see you next time.